What's up, y'all, man? I'm just going to go back into this video here. I just want to say this, man. Um, I was actually chilling. And now I actually thought about this a long time ago. But one thing I really want to say is this, man. Um, I have been paying extreme attention about Chris, like about the crosses and all that stuff with Christianity and everything like that. So with that being said, are you, it's kind of crazy to me, man. Like the fact that like we get like literally a fucking cross and that represents Christ. Right. But then like when you educate yourself because you're spiritually awakened, right. Then you start to, you know, touch back on your roots because that's what you do. Right. When you want to get to know thyself. Right. So then I do that. Right. And then tell me why. In ancient Egypt, they have something called an ankh, and basically it's a cross, but at the tip of the cross, at the, the top, there's a circle, and it represents life. You see that? So then that makes me think, man, like, it's crazy, man. Like, this is why people need to be awakened, because it's like they be taking uh, real information over, like, say, the beginning of time, right? Because this story was told 500 years before the Bible was told. So it's like you get the cross in the onk, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you got the onk, you got the whole uh, the horror story with Set, all of those people, bro. And then it's like 500 years later, you get the Bible, Christianity, and it's a similar story. Like, for example, um, Christianity, they tell you that the Virgin Mary was about 11 or 12 years old when God impregnated her, like with the Holy Spirit, with the spirit. And she was impregnated and she was a virgin at like 11 or 12, right? Now, that is definitely a pedophile story, and I don't believe that God would want to impregnate. Uh, I don't see the reason for that. I mean, I'm not God and all that, but, like, think about, put yourself in his shoes, man. If you're God and you could do whatever the fuck you want, you created all life, man. Why would you impregnate an 11-year-old girl? You know what I'm saying? Why would you do that? Like, I get times were a little different to where men were able to date a specific type of way. But you have to understand those those times were, were where, you know what I'm saying? And then when you look at, like, our teachings, you know what I'm saying? Like, African-American teachings, like, for example, I'm just going to keep it at the Egypt because there's many teachings, you know what I'm saying? Like, these stories get told over and over in different types of ways. Like, even like the Buddha story, you know what I'm saying? These stories all connect. But what I'm saying is this. It started off with the ancient Egyptian story. And then 500 years later, you have the Bible. You know what I'm saying? They tell a similar story. And like I said, God impregnated Mary at the age of like 11, right? Well, in the ancient Egyptian story, there's a woman and her husband was cut up, bro. And these is like fully adult people. And from the looks of it, it seems like they never probably had four, uh, they never had sex before or they um, never had a child before. And with the result of that, when the brother got jealous and cut up his body and scattered it all over Egypt, her and her sister had to get all the body parts back together, sew them back together. And then this is another thing they say, like witchcraft is bad for black people, right? But then when you look at New Orleans, that's what they practice, voodoo and stuff. And then when you understand like our ancient Egyptian teachings, um, we had medicine and then we also use magic to with medicine to, you know, influence permanent healing. Like, for example, with arthritis, this is actual thing. And you guys can look this up. So it's just like, um, where am I going with this, man? So, yeah, it's just like you have like, like I said, like God did not. I don't really believe that, man, because that it's just I don't really believe it, man. I'm going to just go here. The story, uh, Seth cut up his brother. She sewed up her fucking um, husband body parts with her sister. Um, the only part that was missing was his penis. And they crafted, him, uh, they crafted him a new penis with gold. You know what I'm saying? And the first mummy ever documented on this earth today in America and everywhere all around this globe, bro, was a mummy. And this story that I'm telling you guys about, like, the magic and all that stuff and sewing them back together, bro... This is the first documented mummy, bro. This is, and it's crazy. Look this up. So with this being said, this is real knowledge, bro. Um, This ain't no just, oh, some fairy tales, blah, blah. No, this is the first religious story. And this is why people were spiritual and not, and then not a Christian. You know what I'm saying? Then 500 years later, Christianity and then the Catholic, all that stuff comes in handy. But like, I'm gonna finish the story, man. So once they resurrected the body, she was able to have like, um, sex for the first i don't think it was just sex but she was able to have a child with her husband when he was brought back to life you see what i'm saying and, and i'm not telling i'm not telling the full story i'm just trying to get to the point 
So when so when they were able to have a child, the child was brought into the physical world and then he had the war was set to like uh reclaim the throne for his father and then also um he had to like um sorry y'all, my cat there's my neighbors have cats and uh my cat Cato just actually uh see the neighbor cat, he's like super curious. So it's kind of cute, man. I want them to have like I care about animals, you know? Uh, look at that. See, he's going under the house. That's cool. You see, good boy. Look, he's kind of shy. He wants to get to know him. So, back to the video, though, man. But I have, I have to like acknowledge stuff like that, cause like, man, I want them to have a good life too, you know. So, anyways, yeah, back to what I was saying, man. Um, yeah, man, that God didn't impregnate no twelve or eleven year old girl named Mary, bro. What had happened was the real story was that, um. Yeah, they did all the fucking um they sewed the bodies back together and then once they did the the um the chanting and all that brought him back to life. She had she had a baby with him, man, for the first time. The baby restored order to um brought back balance on the throne, put set back in his place and like um like I said I wasn't telling the full story, but basically um that's that's where the real story of Mary come from, bro. Um what had happened was people started to see, you know, how powerful Egyptians were, not even just Egyptians, but just people around ancient Kemet, like that's ancient Egypt, but um, like all around the areas, you know what I'm saying? Like there was even like the Kush, the Kush um, empire too. You have like these people who are just really powerful and they would have really small tribes and you know, and then what I mean by powerful, like strength wise, you know, like there goes the cat right there. Yeah. But um, yeah, this is a guy's house. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. Um, but yeah, man, the Kushites and all that stuff, bro. Like we had really powerful tribes and what had happened was people liked the way we were living. So what they did was they wanted to come take our wealth, meaning like today, like in Africa today, they're hiring kids to like come mine fucking gold and all this shit. Then they import it to the country, create cell phones for about 350 bucks. And then they sell it back to you for like three times the price. You don't see that? That's what I'm saying. It's like we have to be awakened to this shit, man. And um, this is kind of where I'm going to, man. Like, I can kind of go really go all over this place, but I just kind of want to just keep one video where it's at. So um, I'm going I'm to just say this right here. I think it's really important for people to just really try to wake up, man. Like, I talked about the shift. And if this thing is really happening to where the physical and the dream world can collide, being woke, you're going to have a huge advantage to this shit, bro. So another thing is, too, it's just like, we're, I'm tired of living these false illusions, bro. If we all wake up, we could all have a better life on earth. There should be no way Elon Musk should have like a hundred billion dollars and people are struggling through a fucking pandemic. And he's not donating at least 10 billion or even half of that, or even just 1 billion that could make a difference. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are the type of things that I'm seeing. Like, how does, how do we have like fucking homeless people on this earth? People who can't even fucking feed themselves. How do we have people who don't have a roof over their heads, bro? How do we have people in debt? And then we have one person with a hundred billion dollars, bro. Like a million dollars can change one person's life almost forever if you do it the right way. Almost forever, you know what I'm saying? But like one billion? And then you have a hundred billion? Bro, I just don't understand. This is why I really don't... I. I have to like... What God want me to do is just focus on the positive things in life. But like, I just don't understand the basic things like how people could just be so wealthy and rich and not give a fuck about people, bro. They're starting to make me think that like, maybe these people ain't fucking human. Like how the fuck can't like, bro, listen, if I had the keys to the matrix like that, you know, they'd be trying to kill my ass or some shit like that, but they're not. And it's like, how are you able to have the keys to the matrix, bro? Think about it. He literally has SpaceX, Tesla, you know what I'm saying? And Tesla is due to do with cars. And um, yeah, bro, he just, expanding his business and then the, the third thing too is like the Neuralink chips bro he's he's a co-founder of that so like the keys of the matrix bro who the hell who gave you authority bro that's what i'm saying and like people just praising this man like he's the smartest man blah 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 bro what if this man not even fucking human what if he's not even fucking one of us bro you see what i'm saying and then like they're creating this devices and shit that i would probably i wouldn't put on my cats obviously but like bots when y'all go get your cats fixed you have the option to like um to chip your cat bro 
You know what I'm saying? And they're, they're, they they also tattoo the stomach so they know if the, the animal's been fixed. They'll give it like a little green strip because they got to shave off the fur anyways. And then they ask you if you want to um chip your cat as well. So when they go off running, you can go find them, bro. So like this is... Think about that, bro. Just stop for a second. Think about that. They gave us the options to chip our animals. Think about what the fuck is going on to human beings, bro. Who do... That's what I'm saying, bro. Who is these people to have the keys to the matrix? They're trying to chip us like we're fucking animals, guaranteed that they won't be fucking chipped. So that's what I'm saying. I don't think that these people are human because who would do such a thing? Who would hoard the money? Who would just keep causing a fucking chaos in the Who would do these things, bro? You have to be like another fucking species that think you're above this fucking species to be doing this type of shit to this fucking species, bro. And it's like... Bro, you just got to be woke for this shit, bro. And I'm not like, I don't got no degrees or nothing. You just got to use your fucking brain. You got to like, just do what's right. Like try to eat, have healthy ass water, clean ass food. So it doesn't, uh, uh, fuck up, like poison your fucking pineal gland. And when your pineal gland is open, you're able to think in different ways and see what your third eye. The reason why they call it a third eye, your pineal gland right here is because it's literally, it's smaller than your eyeball, but like it's literally almost the size of your eyeball. You know what I'm saying? And if you think about it, it forms a triangle, bro. This is why like you see like the, the pyramids and shit on the back of the dollar with the eye, bro. Literally everything you got to think about, bro. Like, man, this is another video, but I'm gonna touch topics on this, man. I really feel like this shift that happened probably happened like you see how it's 2020, right? This is when the year started. And my whole point is this. What about like 2025, like 20,000, 20, 25 years ago, bro? Imagine that before like things were really documented and we, had, we were living in the ancient Egyptian days, you know what I'm saying? Scattered across the earth. What if something had happened and the alien, we were already in contact, like our ancestors were in contact with a fucking alien race, right? Working with them. But then they outsmarted us. You see what I'm saying? They outsmarted us. And when this shift came, we lost our power. We lost our knowledge and everything. And then they fucking got here and they fucking start shape shifting and fucking doing a, like controlling us and doing all the like, bro, literally like that's what I'm saying. Like, what if like this is where my intuition, my conscious, my higher self is telling me. And I feel like when this shift happened, bro, we're going to start get like we're already slowly back getting some of our shit. But like more people is going to have to fucking wake up. You have to wake up, bro. And if you want like, bro, listen. People just have to fucking wake up. I know, like, I sound crazy, but I start to see shit, bro. Like, I even just had dreams of, like, the girl that I love to death fucking sleeping with my enemy, bro. And it was fucking true. I dreamt it, bro. And she lied to me, tried to tell me um, to get over it. I did. She told me the dude's name, told me nothing happened. I Four months later, I had dreams, bro. I had to confront her about it two weeks ago. And I was fucking right, bro. And, like, I'm not I'm not dissing my power saying that they're bad or anything, but I'm learning to trust myself. I'm learning who the fuck I am. I'm learning my fucking powers, bro. Like, how does the fuck did that happen? And before that happened, when I dreamt that, I dreamt my ex when she went to Tennessee having sex with another man moving on. And three weeks when we did not talk, bro, she fucking messaged me pictures of her and that nigga moved on, bro. So it's just like... I have to like really like see what the fuck is taking place, man. This shit is happening and it's fucking painful. I'm not going to lie. But as I'm going through the fucking hurt and my wounds are left open, um, I'm going to reap my I'm going to harvest my karma here uh, very shortly. Like, look, it, I'm moving. I, things are changing for me. I'm going to harvest my, my karma, but I still have a few more lessons to learn, man. And that's why my car was breaking down. And that's why I have to get told this information. And that's why I got to start applying shit now, man. But anyways, um. I'm going to get to this next video, man. I love y'all. I just want to say um, the videos are going to keep coming. I'm I'm mentally, I'm, I'm going to be in a better place, man. I have nothing to worry about. Um, I'm probably going to be hitting some weights here soon. Um, we got the, bro, we got everything right here, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. I got everything I fucking need. I don't, to a sin. And then like, what is it? Like November 3rd? Or yes, November 3rd, we're going to figure out if we're going to have Donald Trump as president or Joe Biden. So it's just like I have until um, December. I don't really know the days because in the Bible it says men don't know the days or time. But I'm going to tell you, these planets is supposed to align during Hanukkah. And Hanukkah is, I believe, a six or seven day festival. And these and it's supposed to happen through the 26th to the 1st. And this is when the shift is supposed to happen, which is fucking crazy. 
And then I study Hanukkah thinking it's a Jewish holiday and stuff. And you get all these different results. But then I read something about black people because I studied the fucking black candle. That's going to be my next video. I'm going to show you guys um, everything, actually. I am I was going to stream, but fuck it, bro. I'm just about to put out a dope ass video showing you guys exactly how I see things with my third eye and how I connect these things. And I'm going to show you guys where I got the whole Hanukkah thing. Like they were just saying that like Hanukkah, there's like four different colors. And then in the middle, there's a black one. You know what I'm saying? There's a black candle, bro. You know what I'm saying? But there's like four green ones and four red ones. And it represents like black people coming together with our culture and just being nice and giving to each other. And we're celebrating our spirituality. You see that? And we do these for like each and every day. We, Bro, it's crazy, man. And then they were talking about some of the foods we bring. And I understand like we supposed to be eating food with like life in it, like electricity as far as like that comes from the sun and like seeds and water and soil and the earth. You see that? That's like real food. You know what I'm saying? But like they were saying like we came together with like fucking gumbo, mac and cheese and all this other stuff like potlucks, bro. And like I'm just trying to see like what this is. I educate myself even if it's false knowledge. And then I think about myself and my higher self will filter all that bullshit out. But what I'm just going to say is like um I had seen um a drake's video man he just released it like last week and it was just like a silent film and it was just like all his albums and like i'm aware of the shift man like people be like putting a whole bunch of stuff and that's why i'm gonna just show you guys and connect this video man i'm not trying to be like conspiracy theory but people are gonna take it there who ain't woke but it's just like they show you these things before it happened you gotta think about man drake got signed by these elites man so like they tell him to put out certain music they tell people to put out certain music and put out certain frequencies, man. So it's like when they t when they put shit like this, bro. Like for example, like aliens and shit. You know, in the beginning of a fucking video, because that's what happened. A little kid was about to get beamed up, and then this year, Donald Trump announced that we had aliens and shows UFO fucking footages of our Air Force people chasing UFOs. So I'm just saying, bro. They show us shit for a reason before shit happens. So I'm gonna break this shit down to y'all. It ain't gonna be conspiracy. Think for yourself. And I'm just gonna say, man. Like, look at this nature real quick, man. Sorry, I need to like not hit you, but really nice. But anyways, man, I'm about to get started on my next video. Um my cats are somewhere in the house. Big ass house, so I should go find them. But um yeah, I'm gonna get started on the next video. Um I was going to stream and just enjoy myself a little bit, but I think that I'm just going to uh record at least one good video and then maybe write some more topics down for tomorrow or something like that. And then I need to order some food because I haven't I haven't been eating, man. That's another thing. I have not been getting hungry. Um and when I do put food in my body, I could just feel the difference. Like I feel like I'm eating matrix food, like I'm becoming more rooted in the matrix. So like I honestly don't even like to eat to eat much like i like to get water and like when i eat like i start to i feel my stomach fill up super fast so um what i'm gonna start doing is replacing the foods that i eat with like way more healthier food like i'm about to switch to an alkaline diet i'm going to be detoxing with black seed oil and then i'm also going to remain detoxing with um i mean like daily detox like three times a day with uh sea moss and um yeah that's my plan man and i have a lot of fucking projects coming and i'm not talking out my ass man there's a reason for every little thing that happens man everything's divine timing so you guys are gonna watch me evolve and i just want to continue to bring you guys on this adventure um sorry i am looking a little busted i haven't been shaving bro i literally been fucking moving like Bro, like I've been moving by myself. I had no help besides my roommates helping me bring up my fucking bed up here. But like, yeah. Oh, we got one cat here. Oh wait, they're in the they're in my roommate's room. That's bad. Anyways, guys, I'm <laughs> I was about to show you guys my room, but I'm gonna get my cats together. But anyways, I love y'all and uh, peace, peace, love, family. You already know.